Okay, I want to do something totally different from this video. I know Warcorp 666 is making a, uh, a video series on this, but I just figured, what the hell, I might as well give it a shot. Anyways, this is 15 reasons why we all need feminism. Starting with number one. I need feminism because every woman of every race, sexuality, and economic background deserve the same opportunities as me. Bitch, they already have the same equal opportunities here in America. If we were in third world countries, yes, you'd have a point. But I'm assuming that you're a first world feminist, so no, we're pretty much equal. I need feminism because I got catcalled while walking to this photo shoot. Okay, grow a backbone. Just thank the guy for the compliment. That's really what catcalling is. It's just a compliment. And just get on with your day. And I thought feminism was supposed to be women are empowered and tough and have a backbone. Not we must cry and whine and moan when people say nice things to us. I need feminism because we need to keep critiquing structures of power. That's essentially what our capitalist system is doing to communism. We don't really need feminism for that. I need feminism because my body should not dictate my gender. I'd hate to admit it, but your body really does not dictate your gender. It's just your genitalia that dictates the gender. Just throwing that out there right now. I need feminism because my body belongs to me and no one else. But people feel entitled to use my female body to tell me what I can or cannot do. Okay. Most people know that your body is your own body. And the people who use it are pretty fucked up in their head. They're the ones who would like sexually harass or rape you. So... Are you sure you're pointing out to just everybody? I need feminism because I carry the internalized misogyny that comes from the woman I care about. No comment on that one. That one is just... Just read it for yourself. You'll see how stupid that sounds. I need feminism because I was told to just get along and play nice with my female harasser. But guess who they expelled? So... Ah, screw it. No comment there. I need feminism because I'm not man enough, but I'm woman enough. I'm man. Yeah, you're not man enough because you're not even a man. You don't need feminism to tell the difference between a man and a woman. I need feminism because POC bodies are not for white consumption. That's another stupid one. This one speaks for itself. I need feminism because pussies are associated with weakness but they are some tough, elastic motherfuckers. Oh, you need feminism to study the pussy, aka the vagina. Yeah, I don't see that working out for you. I need feminism because I am ever-changing and I need a society that allows me equality no matter where I am at. Well, you have a society. It's called the United States of America or the United Kingdom. Granted, men should totally be equal to women, but we're not. Take a look at divorce courts. Take a look at colleges. They're allowing more women in the colleges than men. Any other examples anyone wants to throw out there, I'll happily use. 
I need feminism because I'm still I'm still pan when I'm in a straight passing relationship. I'm still gender fluid when I'm femme as hell. What the fuck is she going on about? No, seriously. I gotta show this one. What the fuck does that mean? I'm still pan when I'm in a straight passing relationship and I'm still gender fluid when I'm femme as hell? That makes absolutely no sense. But I guess that's what feminism has equated itself to. It's equated itself to not making any rational sense these days. I need feminism because no government imposed policy or cultural pressure should force parents to abandon their child for the sake of her being born a girl. And I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that yeah there might be a government imposed policy. If there is then I'm not seeing it. But if there's not then that statement doesn't make any sense. I need feminism because females are strong as hell. Not compared to men. Sorry, but compared to men, you're three times weaker than us. And by the way, it's not sexist, it's just a strength ratio. It's like nature made men to be the stronger of the two genders. I need feminism because the opposite of feminism is fear, and I deserve to be uninhibited. No, the opposite of feminism is just rational thinkers, like egalitarians, or the MRAs, for example. They have some pretty good points about certain equalities that affect men. Feminists don't have very good points and only work for inequalities that benefit them. For example, oh, and I didn't believe, oh, I can't believe I didn't bring this up earlier. Male suicide rates. Most, more men kill themselves. More men over more men kill themselves than women do. I, I do not know how to phrase that properly. And finally to close something off here. This is just one thing from ten women on why feminists and still matters. We need to stop buying into the myth about gender equality. It isn't a reality yet. No, in your world it's not. But here in America, yes. Women are equal to men, and in some cases, superior to men. I mean, back in 1980-something, they were going to have an Equal Rights Act that would make men and women totally equal. But, of course, feminists had to come in and stop this because they knew that they would have nothing left to complain about. Sorry, feminists, but we don't really need feminism for equality. We need egalitarianism. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on this.